Hello everybody, my name is Brenna and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be my night routine. So every night for me is different because right now, sometimes I'll have softball conditioning on some nights and sometimes I run the clock for basketball games. Sometimes my sister has basketball games I go to, so it really just depends on the night. But today, we're getting quite a late start and it's already 8.25pm. I had softball conditioning today and then I got asked to run the clock for a game. A basketball game and I didn't realize there was two games that I had to run the clock for when I got there so it is now 8 25. I planned to film this video at like 6 but that's not happening so I think what I'm gonna do first is get in the shower because I feel gross and then we'll see where we go after that let's go okay so I just got out of the shower and now it's time for me to style my hair the first thing that I put in my hair is this it's a tin Miracle Leave-In product. It is magical. It has done wonders for my hair and it's an excellent detangler. It also counts as a heat protectant too and about eight other things, but that's for later. Okay, so now that it's all detangled, I just take this Sheen Moisture Leave-In product. I actually got this not too long ago because I saw it at Ulta and I really like their brand anyway. And it is really cheap for the quality that you get from this product. Okay, so now that that's all combed through, I brush curl my whole head. Which can be a lengthy process, but if you take like medium sized sections, it doesn't really take that long. Maybe like 10 minutes. What you do is you just take a section and you brush it out. You put your brush behind it and then you just twirl it backwards. And then you just loop and hold it for a few seconds and you're pretty much all done. Half your head done, I'm gonna take my She Moisture Defining Styling Gel and I just take a pretty good amount of that, maybe like that much, and then I scrunch that through the whole section I just did. I'm gonna go finish the other side of my head and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my hair is mostly dry, I'm just gonna take some of the curls and start separating them. Okay, now that I've separated some of the curls, I'm gonna take I think this oil tonight, which is the Biotin and Collagen Weightless Oil Mist. I got this for Christmas and I love it. It says two to four sprays, but my hair is um, extremely thick and two to four sprays will not cover my entire head. Now that all that oil's in, I'm just gonna flip it and try to give it as much volume as possible. Sometimes my hair dries and it's super frizzy and weird and sometimes it looks incredible. And today? I think it looks pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do now is write. I actually have had this journal for almost four years now because my first entry is February 3rd, 2020. I wrote it every night for a good few days and then it went to like every two weeks and then it skipped every three months and every entry is like four sentences long and like, oh, sorry, I missed a few months. So yeah, my most recent entry I did on December 9th, and really all of these entries up to this point were about how much I hated my life. <laughs> if you guys want to see a video of me talking about my mental health and my journey here, then I'll definitely do that because that's something that I would be very interested in filming. But let's just say mental-wise I've had a little bit of a rough few years. But yeah, the last time I wrote was December 9th, 2021, and I like rate my mood on a scale from like 1 through 5 stars. And I wrote on this one, I literally have no personality anymore, I don't know. That's kind of sad to me, even though I was a little cringy, but whatever. And I think I'm gonna write again today about my day. I try not to tell myself to write every day, but instead to write when I feel motivated and when I feel like I have something to say. Because when I try to tell myself write every night, 
it always ends up with me writing for like three nights in a row and then I forget about it and I get too tired and I don't want to write anymore but when I just do it when I feel motivated it feels more personal and more like a hobby instead of like something on my to-do list so I think I'm just gonna write for a little bit and we'll go from there <laughs> I've just been scrolling on my phone for a while, just doing literally nothing. And I think I'm either gonna watch a show or I'm gonna edit. I need to edit because I wanna get this video up tomorrow. I really wanna watch a show. I don't know, we'll figure it out together. <laughs> Generally around this time is when I would be doing homework and like watching a show or listening to music or something because I procrastinate a lot and I have my retainer and I have a really bad list right now, sorry. I know it's bad to do work like right before you go to bed but like that's like my relaxation hour and like listening, not doing homework but like the listening to music and like the watching the TV part just relaxes and calms me down so. <laughs> Hey Google, set an alarm for 8 a.m. tomorrow. Done. Your alarm set for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching my night routine. If you enjoyed, you should totally subscribe. And I'm trying to upload every like Monday and Thursday. Because as of right now, that's working out for me well. I'll see you guys on Monday. Love you. Mm -hmm.